Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to get your HEPA um, Universal Certification HEPA 60A um, without begging proctors, I will say that, I'm sorry if you are a proctor, but in my case, um, I went to escogroup.com and what are you seeing right now are my results. Unfortunately, I couldn't pass um, at the beginning, the, the first time I tried, I passed one, two, and three, and I fell on the course. That's why you see different dates. Uh, and very important, guys, uh, the reason why I failed the first time is I didn't have the chart. So as you can see, I am in the ESCO group website. And then what you gotta look here is take the exam here. You click there and you, you find you follow the steps that you see over there so we're gonna hit in the section purchase the exam and what you see right here is the chart that you can download from the website very important to have it because in the core in the core section they will ask you many types of refrigerants you can get it right there from the chart um, so we're gonna hit uh, purchase the exam and then of course Proctor U is the one that the website that's gonna monitor your exam uh, you decide to take it in English or in Spanish, depending on what you need. So you have to fill all that information, including your social or tax ID number. If you're a company, whatever you have, you have to fill that information no matter what. So if you don't risk, you don't gain. That's what they say. So in this case, I risk myself and do and follow these uh, um, steps. And, and thanks God, I was able to pass it and everything went well with the exam. So I'm passing this information, hoping that uh, it's going to be useful for you. So I'm just typing just information just to type and then, but obviously you have to fill all this information and feels that whatever they ask you and the state where you're taking the exam, no matter what, uh, remember you're doing everything online, everything from home. So you uh, fill out your phone number, make sure you write down your email correctly because you will receive uh, an email after you purchase the exam, um, make sure you put the, your uh, payment methods correctly uh, because they're going to send you the, uh, your receipt to the email. And in this, uh, they're going to send you another email where it has a section, uh, a session number, and, uh, two alphanumeric numbers, and the other one is the credit uh, for the day of the exam. You're going to use those numbers. you got to keep that email pretty well because uh, that's the email who... Um, the email which uh, let them let proctor you that you already paid for the exam uh, one thing i didn't tell you uh, is that each time you try the exam you have to pay 85 dollars uh, as you can see i hit the summit button and it's asking me for all that information that is necessary but it's up to you once again uh, this is an option that i follow up and everything works for me so once you uh, purchase the exam i want to show you um, the, the way you can prepare for the exam. So, and one of the ways you can prepare for the exam is they have a free practice on their website. And once again, the practice is in English and Spanish. So you have to purchase uh, this manual, which is English and Spanish, but uh, I also will leave a link in the description on every single website, including the one for the test, uh, the ESCO group, and also a link to Amazon where you can uh, spend $15 in this manual to physically have it. And of course, you can detach the last page with that. So uh, over here, I'm answering some of the questions and you can see when you answer correctly, you will see uh, the green check uh, that you answer it right. So as you can say, for example, um, which refrigerant has no chlorine is HFC. Uh, and then I answered correctly. So I've been practicing a lot in this website. Plus, uh, you have to read the manual like two uh, two times if it's possible and do as much as you can this practice. Uh, I mean, I literally was answering blind last time uh, because I already knew all the answers. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the exact answers, but this practice help you a lot. Trust me, I didn't have to kill myself. Uh, and what it happened is in my come uh, in the exam, you might have these questions, but we're a different language uh, asked in a different manner, but uh, you, you're going to identify them at the time. So now we're going to go to the part of the Proctor U. This is going to be the website who's going to be monitoring your uh, or proctoring your exam. Uh, you have to also create. So task taker, choose uh, create there, fill out your information. And once you create an account, it will ask you for the institute. You tell them it is ESCO group. Um, 
and it will ask you also for what kind of exam you ask you select current and it will also ask you what kind of certification you if you don't find a HEPA 608 you find uh, you to tell it uh, you type it and you'll find it so once again I'm telling you you put your email your name uh, your email your username your password uh, you create all the necessary steps you take for uh, take this exam so uh, as you can see it will ask you all about uh, your personal information the same thing that ESCO did before when you purchase the exam once you fill up everything you say you click like you agree and I'm not a robot for example um, and then you submit once you do all that all is missing now is um, choosing a date so as you can see it is asking for all that because it's required to create an account um, and once you finish your profile and you already sign in for the first time uh, I already did I'm just showing you as an example you hit uh, schedule a new section when you go to this place and you tell it uh, I want to do EPA 608 so a current exam and the institute is already there with this ESCO group and you say uh, find a section and then it will show you um, a calendar where you can choose a date so just make sure you study very well you can uh, choose your session date uh, a month in advance or two months in advance whatever you think is necessary to study and prepare and uh, over here you can see uh, choose uh, convenience times for you maybe after work or in a day off you have so make sure you submit everything and also two things make sure you have a good computer connection i mean internet connection and computer thank you for watching